Moments ago, Stanford Police Chief Bill Lee announced that he'll temporarily step aside. His department's been heavily criticized on its handling of the Trayvon Martin case. Joining us now, Democratic Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson of Texas. Congresswoman, thank you so much for, for joining me today. Well, thank you for having me. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this, this announcement. I mean, I think it came as a surprise to some, probably not to others. Do we think this is going to be a good thing and will help sort of tone down the temperature, at least for, for some time on this investigation? I think it will help to tone down the temperature. It was very clear to me that the confidence in this police chief had vanished. And the community was very highly suspicious as to whether or not the law would be enforced. I think there's still a question as to whether it's considered a hate crime. Uh, and I, I heard the clarification that this uh, man had been is now uh, labeled as Latino. Yeah. Uh, uh, all of that is um, it's unfortunate that a young black male has been uh, murdered. Now, the thing is, though, is hate crimes is usually described by the motivation of the person toward uh, uh, the person that they are injuring. Right. And so I think that's still a question as to whether this was a hate crime, because in one of the reports that I saw, it did point out that of all other descriptions they could have said, they indicated that he was black. But it's, it strikes me that the race of the shooter is really immaterial to whether or not this was a hate crime, right? It's, you can be a black person correct. with a racial motivation uh, and it's, it still can be a hate crime. I think that's one of the misnomers in this case when people were saying it's a, he was a white shooter and African American. I mean, the point is certainly, you know, what was the intent? That's my understanding of the law. Exactly. That is the understanding. That's my understanding of law as well, and that's why I pointed this out. The description of the perpetrator is, necess is not necessarily the thing that's important. It is the motivation right. of the perpetrator. And we can only go on what was recorded. And one of the motivations did appear to be racial. All right. All right. Well, we'll certainly be learning more in the days and weeks to come. Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson, thank you very much for joining me.